Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get another episode of Tacked Up Destiny today. For those who don't know, we're on episode 8 and last time we left on a bit of an action cliffhanger. We had the full setup to get into that episode where it's the weird conductor leader of the Symphonica or whatever Symphon... Leading Hell, his crazy looking stupid powerful apparently music art i'm not sure we really haven't gotten a lot of music art versus music art combat to like gauge any of this we just saw them like shit stomp this really strong looking you know uh d2 so we just assume that hell is pretty fucking broken but we're gonna have to see we've also learned that in the last episode, we've learned that music arts have signature abilities, such as Hell's ability to use the tuning fork and summon the D2s, those weird deer ones, which were already kind of a little tough. They weren't like super dangerous to like Destiny intact yet, but we knew that they were like fast enough to kind of dodge away from shots and kind of bounce off the smaller ones. So we'll have to see how it goes in this episode. Personally, I'm always rooting for tact and for revenge because yes, revenge, but also because main character, come on. Also, the other guy's a dick, right? That's just my opinion. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching with us, as always, support the original content creator because, you know, they worked real hard on this. I think they really did, too. It's so excellently made. All of it is very technically well made, and I'm super impressed with everything on every level of it so far, from art to animation to direction. I will say the story is not quite what I was expecting, and I definitely think that for a, like, a popular kind of you know run it's not going to do necessarily as well because of that but we'll see i could be totally wrong I, i'm often wrong on these kind of things and the animation and other stuff might just make up for it with that said if you want to talk with us more remember you can talk with us at any time on discord we chat about music games all that great stuff or you could check us live every sunday on twitch we do these reactions the public ones to our twitch account and you can come chat with us in discord after where we do our patreon exclusive uh viewings and stuff you know all the hit monkey and other things we got on our patreon exclusive stuff right now either way i have really been enjoying this stuff and i hope you are as well we're gonna get into this episode and hopefully enjoy the shit out of it right right <laughs> Oh, he actually gave it up. That was a bad idea. He got kicked right in the back. So he can also move like that? When he's... He, like, put away the conductor thing and it went hard. His spine should be done for. Yeah, he seems like a conductor who relies entirely on his music art. Oh, he really got fucked up there. Guess she didn't block that one very well. And that's where emotion fucks you up. You need to be fighting, not paying attention to that right now. I love it that one look from him is that, once again, having that fucking bloodlust. Well, that was not a good look. Yeah, she done fucked up. Shouldn't have gotten emotional. You didn't tell me. He has no control over this bitch. The hell is that? Just a hole? Oh, okay. Damn, his arm is tore up! from that red shit. For those who don't know, you get a cloth, fill it with water, and then... I guess you could do that too, but it's usually unnecessary. People drink water real easy most of the time. This guy might not, because he's a little bit of a, you know. He couldn't be a great conductor. That's why I said he doesn't control this bitch at all. I guarantee you she's got him wrapped around her fitting, her little finger more than anything. Eh. Historians are meh. 
I don't know, man. Last time you said you weren't enough. I remember it specifically. It was a real deep cut. It was funny. He's... He's such a fucking... He's such a fucking complainer, too. I swear. He's really just kind of a dick. Look at the tiny little fire. It really is more of a um an emotion story than an action story. Like just by content you can tell. Great music though, god damn. And the music in this move the movement of it is very interesting, bro. It's still somehow, as he at least like that, not too much, that one much better. Where it's like, I don't want just the background to be really well done, I want everything, right, to be of a similar quality. You look awful. Uh, like half and half, honestly. Maybe not all. Well, but yeah, that's true. But, you know, she's dumb. She real dumb. Damn, it's beautiful though. Like that, the whole thing is beautiful. Not a background. So that's why she went. She didn't have a weapon unless he does it. I gotta go back for that. I gotta. I absolutely. I actually have to. No, we went too far. Or not far enough. Duh. Like, look at this right here. Look at when he looks. Look at the foreground and the background. Every piece of this. Maybe not these trees. But basically, see, even this tree, every piece of this looks fucking beautiful, bro. Okay, back to the fight. Oh, well, let's not miss some of the good animations since this is where it's all. We're only getting a little. I gotta remember that. I gotta really, you know, look, put into, like, paying attention to the fights because we ain't gonna get that much. Super cool, though. What the fuck? Yeah, this was just dumb on her part, though. There was literally no point in going to do that because there was absolutely no way she could win, and she should have fucking known that. They're so stupid. <laughs> Gunshot. Shotgun again. Shotgun <laughs> I was gonna say, she does got that ultra giga cannon ass shit, the fuck, bruh. I know music, you bitch. Oh, it's up her whole right side. Oh, heaven. Of course that's her name. Oh, she gonna kill him, isn't she? All of it. Shit, once again. He's no affiliation with us. They're gonna let the D2s get him, aren't they? Isn't hell hell's gonna do that? You were also told not to She's so dope. Uh, sure. The real thing is she's too valuable to get rid of. Even no matter what she does, there's a limited amount of music hearts. 
I didn't think he was controlling hell. Okay, so he's just delusional. And D2? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, I, I wonder, I don't know what's like, do I want, oh, I don't know what I want to happen there, whether I want like Tack to kill him, the D2s to get him, or just to, for him to continue being, cra I don't know, that's actually tough, Oh. oh it's getting harder sure, huh, starting to really hit him, well, goddamn, boys, as always, it was an interesting-ass episode. They throw me off. Whenever I think I know what's going through, they kind of push it left to right. We, I'm absolutely convinced now that this isn't really an action shounen one. It's really a touchy-feely one dressed up as an action one, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, I do usually prefer a little more action, so, you know, that's going to get some downs on me. But, man, just the, everything else is so well done. The voice acting, the emotional aspects of the storytelling, the fucking... The, the actual animation, the actual art, the fucking backgrounds, the, the dialogue, even the translations are pretty decent as far as I can tell. I don't know. I'm not qualified really to say for that, but they feel good, right? Like, a, a good translation isn't about 100% accuracy necessarily but about moving the feeling across and you know what I mean um yeah there's just so much to say about it and it's tough for me to log it down but what I will say is I've been enjoying watching I'm gonna keep watching because there's more episodes to go just for this season and I hope you join us as always you can join us on Sundays live we do this on twitch at www.twitch.tv uh, you know twitch.tv slash 3d reactions with an x not a c as you all know and you can check us out there every sunday morning uh the time does vary a little bit but we're trying to keep it on a, a more definite track we're gonna have our stream schedule up and if you don't catch it then you can check it out later on youtube and if you don't catch it there or you want to see it without all those annoying edits and cuts and overlays i have to put on youtube you can check it out on Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. And you'll also be helping me to pay my bills. So I'll appreciate it. And the more we do, the more shows I can watch. So thank you for everyone who is a patron and supporting. I appreciate you. Thank you for everyone watching on Twitch or YouTube. You guys all mean the world to me. Don't forget to support that original content creator. And we'll hopefully see you next time on Reactions with an X. Tacked Destiny. It's going to be a great time.